All right, today I'm gonna to show you the new fastest way on how to render in Unreal Engine 5.6. Now, before we get any further, it's not gonna be the best render settings, but if you've just opened up 5.6, you'll probably see this button here and be like, what the heck is this? I thought the same thing. The teapot here, and it's basically the quick render button. Now, when you click this, it's basically gonna give you this menu that you can just hit the quick render button and you'll see a render popping off right there. And now, amazing, we don't have to dive into the movie render queue. But I do wanna show you how it actually works and what you can do to change some of the settings because some of the defaults that you get, uh, they're not great, but we, we can do some things to make it better. So let's close this. And from here, let's take a look at the level sequence that I have right here. I have a basic level sequence of a camera pushing in on this little sword that I modeled, and now I want to start rendering this. So you could very well just click the teapot and it does the thing. I did go in and go in and change some of the things. So the first thing we want to look at is the three dots to the right of the teapot icon, and we can see all the different options under the quick render tab. Now by default, it will be set to quick render, but if you just select the movie render queue, it will bring up the movie render cube as is if you know how to use that great and if not I'll do a follow-up video very soon so we'll set this to quick render and then below that we can see that it's going to quick render a certain selection so this will be our current sequence the sequence that we have down here we could also render our viewport a selected camera etc I'll dive into these in another video, but we're just gonna stick with this main sequence. And when we go ahead and take a look at the very bottom option here, we have the quick render settings. And that will basically bring up whatever we saw whenever we hit the actual teapot button. And from here, we're looking at a couple things. First, it's asking us what render movie graph do we want to look at and get uh, our data from. Now, we're going to look at some nodes for a second, and I know nodes are scary, but don't worry, it actually makes sense. We'll cover this in just a second, but it's basically everything that you see in the traditional Unreal movie render queue, just in a visual format rather than a giant list. So let's close this for a second. So we have our movie graph, and this is going to be the default render graph settings. There's other render graphs here, but we're not going to worry about that today. We also have the ability to change our output direction directory so by default it will put it into a movie renders saved folder i did change this if i hit the back button it's going to clear it out but when you first make an unreal render quick render it will put it in your saved and movie render folders here so it should probably look something like this but i'm going to save this to my desktop into this render test folder, sure. You can also change your output resolution down here. So you can set this to 1920 by 1080, 4K, whatever you wanna do. You could make a description, sure, whatever. Okay, so the most important thing when it comes to using the new default quick render settings is gonna be the node graph. So I know this looks scary, but Generally speaking, this is pretty much what you see in the movie render queue, but in visual format, like I said. Now, by default, if you right click in the empty space, uh, you'll see that uh, the deferred render is going to render, by default, it's going to be a JPEG sequence. I did change it to a MP4, a dot H dot H.264, so then I could just have a file format that I could just post to the internet without any fussing. So if you right click in the empty space of the node graph and type JPEG sequence, you can see that you're gonna get a JPEG sequence. Let's just go ahead and take this node, plug it in here, take this node, plug it in here. Okay, cool. We don't really need to change anything else. So if we wanted to just render this out as is, we can close this graph and then hit the quick render button. We're gonna see this pop up and it's going to render our scene, render our shot, and then after this is done, we have our cool little animation. So the problem is that this is a JPEG sequence, so we can't actually view this, and the only way to actually see this as a video format is to bring it into After Effects or DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere, whatever you use, and set that up so then you can render it out on social media. Now, I'm gonna show you how to set up the H.264, so let's go back to that quick render graph. We can go ahead and right-click, type search, 
H.264 MP4 and drop that in. I already have one right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear that out and connect it. And then from here, we're gonna get some settings. On the over on the right hand side over here, we can change our file format name. So right now the default is gonna be the sequence name. That's the name of our level sequence. And then the layer name, which we're not worrying about layers right now. So we can just make sure that's unchecked. And the default settings are actually not bad. So we can go ahead and turn this stuff on if we want to. We can set our bit rate. And if you're familiar with traditional video editing, you can set how much data is gonna be in each frame. So that's kind of gonna be your bit rate. You can change the quality from a uh, quality standpoint to a constant bitrate and this is something I typically use when I'm rendering in DaVinci but I'm just gonna keep it on quality for now just for the sake of this tutorial I definitely need to do more tests to uh, make sure that uh, I can give you guys the best settings possible for this what you'll also see here in your quick render settings is the game overrides and this is something I do recommend in a lot of my render settings but if you have a very large scene with a lot of grass a lot of transparent stuff it may be a really slow render so just be be warned that if you do have a bunch of stuff in your scene like using some crazy plugins it may slow down a little bit so game overrides is generally a good idea but Again, be cautious if you have a massive scene with like hundreds of thousands of blades of grass or something. Now under your global output settings here, you're basically going to get a lot of the same principles and options that you saw in the quick render menu that pops up. But here we can change our output directory. Let's go ahead and save this to a new folder. We'll call this render test two. Sure hit select folder, and then we can change our output resolution. I'll just set this to 4K because why not? And then we can just go ahead and hit save. And now close this and then hit the quick render button. Now, because we are rendering a 4K image, this might be a little slower, but we'll see what happens when we come back. A few moments later. Sweet, we have a render and it immediately played it after rendering our shot and cool. Now. I'm going to add one more thing to this. I need to do some more tests on this, but let's go ahead and take a look at this first frame. And then we're gonna go back to our original render that we just made on our desktop with the JPEG sequence, which is right here. I honestly think that the JPEG sequence here is sharper. This is sharper than this. I don't know why but there's something happening with the H.264 MP4 conversion. So I need to do some tests, but if you need to do something super quick, super dirty, super easy, the new teapot option is there and I'm super stoked about it. And I just made this YouTube video on a whim because some people should know that you can do it now. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you learned something, let me know in the comment section down below. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever else. Comment section is down there for that as well. And as always, don't forget to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight so you can make some Goodbye, my friends. Bye.